Strategic partnerships can be of different sizes and conduct different activities depending on the objective of the project, the organizations involved, and the expected impact. When you design a strategic partnership activity plan, it is important to ensure coherence between your aim and objectives and the activities you conduct. The activity plan should have a balance in the type of activities, when and where they take place. The order and number of different activities should be logical and explained. A project is a combination of transnational meetings, local activities and possible learning mobilities. For projects supporting innovation, activities such as multiplier events and development of intellectual outputs are essential elements of the activity plan. Let's have a closer look at these activities. Transnational meetings are meetings of representatives of partners to implement and coordinate the project. In other words, to develop, manage and evaluate the project and strategies, to share ideas and results, to discuss what could be improved in your cooperation. Transnational meetings are the backbone of your project and have to be carefully planned. All meetings should take place in the country of one of the partners. The number of meetings depends on the duration of your project, if it is a six-month project, the first meeting and the final evaluation meeting could be enough. In a two-year project, more intermediate meetings should be organized. Generally, it is good to meet at least every six months. Think about what has to be done and discussed in these meetings. Take into account the needs of all partners to properly plan these meetings. The lump sum for these meetings includes all costs for travel, lodging, food, work materials, visits and local travels. This might influence your decision on how these meetings look. Do you go to a hotel for two days or do you rent a simple summer cottage and spend your money on specific activities related to your topic or stay a few days longer to strengthen the partnerships by cooking together? Or spend your time on walks and talks? Decide together with all partners how your transnational meetings would best fit your needs. Local activities in youth work, and possibly in other educational settings, are an essential part of strategic partnerships. They are your laboratories where you can test, explore, and implement your new knowledge, method, or tool. Youth workers can use local activities to develop their professional competences. In many partnership projects, youth workers cooperate with local stakeholders from their own field or from other educational fields. Sometimes, pedagogues and other educators are involved. In this way, their laboratory expands and the impact becomes more significant. In case you develop intellectual outputs, local activities are your playground, where you can try out, monitor and evaluate outcomes for further development. Local activities may give you important feedback, data and analysis for research and evaluation. Local activities do not have a separate budget and should be financed from the management and coordination budget. A learning mobility is a transnational learning, teaching or training activity. It is an opportunity for professionals in the organization to learn together something specific on the topic. A learning mobility within a partnership project can be a long-term mobility of youth workers. Youth workers could be involved in a partner organization to learn more about how they work with the target group. A good example of a long-term mobility is job shadowing. A long-term mobility has a duration of 2 to 12 months. A short-term training event. It is aimed to develop the competence of professionals through training related to the topic. Training events can last between 3 days and 2 months. Or, a blended mobility of young people. This is a combination of a learning mobility, such as an exchange and e-learning. This combination of physical and virtual mobility can have a total duration of 5 days to 2 months. You can find all criteria for specific learning mobilities in Annex 1 to the Program Guide. Multiplier events are activities only for projects supporting innovation. It can be national and transnational conferences, seminars or events to share and disseminate intellectual outputs. The funding covers costs incurred in relation to the organization of the event, depending on the number of participants. In case of projects supporting innovation, the development of intellectual outputs is also seen as a separate activity, although they're not necessarily separate face-to-face -face meetings. Intellectual outputs are entwined with other activities throughout the project. Of course, the development of intellectual outputs will be on the agenda of transnational meetings 
and the learning mobility must have links with the development of intellectual outputs.